did the coronavirus come out of left field? No, it actually came out of a wildlife market. What's a wildlife market? It's a place where people bring animals that they've captured in nature. Some people think that we can put 80 billion animals in cramped conditions and somehow humanity is going to be separate and distant from nature and will be insulated from the fate of those animals. Nothing could be farther from the truth. When animals suffer, we suffer. The coronavirus is the deep underbelly of the way that we treat animals. The health of animals, people, and nature is all connected. This is a principle known as One Health. We're seeing a pattern here. SARS, MERS, swine flu, bird flu, mad cow disease. These are viruses that come from animals that people farm and trap and then transfer to people. The viruses are messaging that there's a breakdown in on the relationship between people and animals. And there's a deeper thing going on here, which is more than bats. It's also about cows and pigs and chickens and meat and dairy and eggs. The psalmist teaches, God is good to all and his compassion is on all his creatures. In the book of Genesis, the Bible teaches that the first human being, Adam, met the animals that God created and gave them names. This indicates that he was in a positive relationship with the animals. There are now 7.8 billion people on Earth. With more people, diseases travel faster, especially with airplane travel. What can we do? We can become a reducitarian, eat less meat, eat fewer eggs, eat less dairy. By taking a personal step, to reduce the number of animals under human control, we can slowly but surely help to prevent viruses like this emerging in the future.